Hey guys, this is Edna with Squire Photography and today I am going to prevent suicides. I am telling you this has been one of the most frustrating things. My cousin is working on a website and she wanted to do a full width slider and we could not figure it out no matter what we did. So today I'm going to teach you how to do it because um, tech support reached out to her and taught her how to do it. And I don't think there's a single video out there that teaches you how to do this correctly and easily. I'm going to teach you easily how to do this. So we're going to enable Visual Builder on Divi. And I've been working on this website for about a year and a half. I already have a website, but this is the new one I'm going to someday have up. <laughs> so here we go. You're going to click on wherever you want to put your slider and we're going to click on uh, the blue button to add a new section. We're going to go with full width and we're going to go with full width slider. Even if you have the newest version, it will work. You just have to remember what sections to put the photos in. So here under add new item, you're going to click add new item and you're not going to add the photos under slide image. I don't know why they even have this here. If you, if you don't, if you're not supposed to use it, it just doesn't make sense, right? You're going to add the image here under background image. This is the big clue guys. Background image is where you need to add it. You're going to press upload. And I just made these really quickly so that you guys, um, I, I actually don't want a slider on my website, but, um, so here's one. I made these long and thin kind of panoramic. I think they're 1500 pixel pixels across by maybe 300 pixels down so that it looks good on a website. So here you go. This is how it looks. Now, this is the important part. If you have a, uh, an image that is, um, has more height than this or less height than this, then you need to go to CSS and this is the code that you need to put in. Under main element, right here under main element, you're going to paste this code in min M I N dash height H E I G H T. And that's colon. And here I have 200 V H semicolon, but you can mess with that. You can put in 100 V H you can put in 70 V H and play with it until you find the right size. That's going to work for your slider that looks correct for you. So 70 VH might be the right size for me. Let's look at 60 VH, 50 VH, 40 VH. I think 50 VH is going to be the right one for me. 50 VH semicolon. Yep, that looks right for me. So play with that until the image looks correct for you. Then press OK. Then you're going to go in and add another slide and you see how your first slide is already here. You're going to add new item. Again, don't go to slide image, go to background image and you're going to pick your next slide, press upload an image and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to CSS main element, paste in that code. And what did we decide? It was 50, 50 VH and then press OK. Then go back to general and go to add new item. Again, background image. Click on the next one. CSS main element. Each one has to have this CSS main element uh, code in it. So I'm going to copy that. Press OK. Go to general, add new item, background image upload an image, go to CSS, main element, paste your code in, and then press OK right here in the green. Press OK. Go to general, add new item, background image, upload the image, go to CSS on that one, press control V or paste it, press OK. And then you can go in and you can show arrows. You can um, automate animation. Let's say you want 9,000 for your speed, whatever. Play with that also. Continue at automatic slide on hover. Use parallax effects. 
Um, let's see what else. I think that's good for me. So there you go. That shows you the slider. It's working perfectly. Um, and you can press next on that. I think it's too slow, so I'm going to change the speed. But anyways, guys, you get the idea. You get the idea now. This is it. It's perfect. You can change however fast or slow you want it. And you now know how to do this. So you can thank me below <laughs> by leaving a comment and subscribing to my channel, even though I do no other Divi tutorials. I'm just a photographer and I do a lot of Photoshop tutorials and a lot of stuff. But there's if there's anything that you need to know or anything that you're interested in, you can always comment below. If you comment, YouTube kicks my videos higher in the search engine. Uh, so that's always a good thing. But uh, I want a huge shout out to my cousin Brenda for um, showing me how to do this so that I can show you guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.